In this video, we're going to talk about the sorts of things that entrepreneurs look for, not in the project itself, but really in terms of evaluating whether or not the project can be successful, is successful, is the right one to invest one's energy in going forward. And for that, we're going to pull out this area called signal detection theory. Um, it's used in, in statistical analysis and the like all the time for type 1, type 2 errors. But for here, we use it more uh, conceptually. Um, the idea is that sometimes when you're looking at a business opportunity, like for example, you come up with this opportunity to develop some new, um, like the example business idea, this concierge service that is online and, uh, and via phone and the like to help people get their lives, get things done. This was the example business idea that's part of the assignments uh, on, on developing these business ideas. And you say to yourself, okay, there's two possibilities here. Actually, there's four possibilities here, two different dimensions, two choices on each. One is that there is, a, there is an opportunity here. There is actually an opportunity here. It can be a business. Somebody will make it. Or alternatively, uh, it's just not, it's just maybe an idea, but it's not really going anywhere. So the actual potential for the business on the one dimension, that's across the top. And down the side is that I think there's an idea here. I think there's an opportunity here. So I reach the conclusion, yes, there's a big, there's an opportunity here. Or alternatively, I reach the conclusion, I just don't see this. I'm not going to pursue this. It doesn't make any sense. So when you put those dimensions side by side, you realize that if there is an opportunity, and you think there's an opportunity, uh, that's a hit, right? Because you think it's there, and it is there, and so you work on it, you just have to do everything right, okay? Hits are what you look for, obviously, in the situation. The opposite is, you don't, there is no opportunity, and you don't see an opportunity, so that's a correct rejection. Um, we don't even have to talk about those, because if you don't see it, and it's not really there, it doesn't matter, right? It's no, there's no opportunity present. That's the bottom right-hand corner. So the other two boxes are where the action is, okay? On the one hand, you have a situation where you think there's an opportunity, that's the top row, but it's really not there. In other words, it's a false alarm. You spend a lot of energy and time working on a business idea that turns out to not really exist. That's the false alarm box. The other possibility, of course, is that there's an opportunity out there, but you don't see it. You just don't see the opportunity. That's the bottom left-hand corner, the miss box. So let's just talk about this again. There is an opportunity, and you see it. That's a hit. That's what we all want. If there's nothing, it doesn't matter. But there's two possible ways to mess this up. One way is that you don't see an opportunity that's there, so it goes past you and people make a lot of money, but it's not you because you missed it. Or alternatively, you spend a lot of time and energy to work on something that turns out not to be a real opportunity, a real business. Which is more significant, which is more risky for someone to take, to deal with? That's kind of the question, and people have studied this. And I'm not sure where you come out thinking about this. But the bottom line is successful entrepreneurs, successful investors in startup businesses spend more time worrying about, and here's the drum roll, false alarms. They worry more that they think there's an idea. They spend their time and their energy and their resources on an idea that is not real. They don't spend as much time worrying about that I missed something. Rejecting is a lot safer. Rejecting ones that might be good is a lot safer, costs a lot less if you think about it, than deciding to invest in something that turns out to be false, not a real opportunity. So when you really think about it, it makes sense. If you believe there's all kinds of opportunities out there, and I'll tell you this right now, there are lots of opportunities out there. You do not want to worry too much about missing the big ship that's coming in. There's a lots of ships that leave the station. The trick is to find the right one, identify it, and actually jump on board and then do all the hard work to be successful. Right? The thing you don't want to do, the thing that causes entrepreneurs and investors to lose sleep, is they think there's an idea, they spend their time, their resources, a couple of years, three years of their lives 
all their energy, everything into something that never develops. Why? Because time, money, scarce resources. Once you've passed the time and spent all of it focusing on one thing and it doesn't pan out, you've lost that time forever, right? Whereas the next opportunity is right around the corner. So if you miss one, there's always another one and another one and another one. And when you believe that, the whole argument makes sense, okay? Next video, last video in this series, I'll just summarize the opportunity module, both the first part about where opportunities come from and the, uh, the piece about how you identify and how you use them going forward. And that will be the final video in this section.